Hi, and welcome to this full body wall Pilates routine. This is perfect for beginners and seniors, and even if you're new to Pilates. First half will be in a standing position. Second half will be on the floor. Not a lot of knee work either, so great if you have some sensitive knees. Great for our posture, full body, great stretching. We feel a little bit of burn today as well. So find your wall space. A door frame will work with most of the exercises as well. And we're gonna get started with our backs up against the wall and we're going to step our feet out about a foot or two leaning back on the wall slight pelvic tilt so i want the lower back against the wall and then make sure your shoulders are pressed against the wall as well immediately you're going to feel your core engaged so our belly button is pulled in and we're nice and tight head can be against the wall if it feels a little like you're forcing it it can come forward just a little bit too so relax those shoulders down and back. Find your position. We're gonna inhale, reach the arms forward, palms facing each other. Bring those arms out to the side. Try to press the backs of your arms and hands on the wall, and then we slide down. Again, up to the side and slide down. Two more times like this. Bring those arms forward again, palms facing in. Pinch those shoulder blades so they're pressing into the wall. Plant your feet firmly in the floor, most of the weight in your heels, and keeping our back pressed against that wall, we're gonna slide down. Maybe it's a little slide, maybe it's a big one into a little squat. Again, keeping those points of contact against the wall. And slide. Tommy's in. hips and shoulder blades. Let's do one more like this. Hold the arms reaching forward. We're gonna alternate knees, bringing them in. So we're gonna bring the feet in, better for balance. Bring one knee up, put it down. Other knee up and put it down. Again, back is pressed into the wall. Arms are reaching forward, but the shoulder blades are pressed into the wall as well. Great for balance, great for our core. Really pull that knee in. Exhale as we bring it up. Inhale down, exhale. Inhale down. Four more like that. Last two. Last one. Release the arms down. And this time, switch your palms to the pressing against the wall. Readjust to your feet, our hip width apart. And again, maintain that contact with your back. Really extend your hands, stretching your fingertips out to the sides. And then just give me a nice neck tilt here. Should feel beautiful stretch all the way down the side of your neck into your shoulder. Head comes up and then other side. And reach. And one more time each side. Continue stretching those fingers long, pressing into the wall, really keeping everything activated here. Back up and relax. Bring our arms reaching forward again, but down and back. In this position, we're going to lift our heels up and down. Really squeezing the backs of the legs here. Four more like this. Keep really pressing into that wall. Two. And one, relax down. Okay, switching our position here, we're gonna come to like a wide sumo or second position. So toes are to the corners, and a little bit wider than hip width apart. Arms reach forward again, maintaining those contacts. So a little pelvic tilt, reach forward, 
and we're gonna take the knees out to the side as we slide our back down the wall again. Press up through those heels. All the way down. So the wall here is just serving as a base of support, helping us with our balance and as a prop throughout this whole workout. One more like this. Now lift the heels here in this wide position, up and down. One more, and let's combine those two. So we bend the knees, slide back up, lift the heels, and lower down. Keep those shoulders down and back, press into the wall. Tummy in, back, slides down, slides up. Great stretch for those inner thighs and working the thighs and the glutes. This is our last one. And we toe heel in. So the next group of exercises, we're gonna be facing our wall. Once you put your hands straight out in front, directly in line with your shoulders, and then take big step back, feet are underneath our hips. Core is engaged, tummy in. We're gonna draw your right knee into your right chest with a slight curvature of the spine here, like a little standing crunch. And then stand tall, but we're leaning forward, keeping the spine in line, point that toe back. Standing left leg has a slight bend in it. Here we go. Bring the knee in, extend back. Low crunch, extend back. One more. Leave the leg extended back, pointing that toe. Now lift the leg right here. Directly from the glute, trying to keep that knee straight. Now let's put those two together. Crunch in, bring the knee in, extend, lift the leg and lower. We crunch, extend, lift and lower. All on the right leg. Then we'll switch. Last one, crunch, extend, lift, and lower. Replace that right foot. Extend the left back. Here we go, bring the knee in and extend back. Pull that belly button into the spine. We exhale as that knee comes in. Inhale, extending back. Two more like this. Pull the leg back, point the toe. Lift the leg with a straight knee. Just using that glute. Keep pushing into the wall. One more. Let's combine those. Here we go. Knee in, extend, left and lower. Crunch, extend, lift and lower. Last one. Lift and lower. All right, keep those feet back, hip distance apart. If you're able to, come up onto your toes. And you guessed it, based on this position, we have push-ups, keeping the elbows wide. Here we go, bending the elbows, dropping your head and chest towards the wall, we push up. Inhale, exhale. Go at your own pace. Try not to drop your hips. Your tummy is pulled in, keeping a nice straight line. We have three, two, last one. We straighten, leave your hands pushed into the wall, drop the heels, and then drop your hips back. So we're gonna standing downward dog here. This should feel really nice for the backs of your legs and for your shoulders. While we're here, let's pedal our heels. So lifting one heel up, bending the knee. For four, three, two, and one. Come on forward. Shake that out. Maybe do a few wrist circles here. 
walking in a little bit more to our chest and core now. I want you to lean against the wall with your forearm. Elbow's gonna be in line with your shoulder. And then step out nice and wide away from that wall so we are in a diagonal line here. And then make sure you're not leaning into your shoulder. Pull up nice and tight. Core is engaged here. Lift the arm out. We're gonna turn towards the wall, wrapping our hand around our waist and reach up again. Inhale, exhale, twist. Out, exhale, twist. Keep your hips high here. Try not to let them fall towards the wall. One more, reach, exhale. Replace the hand on the hip, keeping the hips lifted, doing some hip dips now here. So we're gonna drop the hips towards the wall and lift up, drop and lift up. This is so good for the obliques, the side of the waist here. <sighs> hips are doing all the work. Give me two more like this. And go ahead and push away. A little shoulder circles. Same thing, other side. Form on that wall, make sure you're lined up. Elbow in line with the shoulder. Big step out. Reach the arm up, inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Again, keeping the hips lifted here. So good for our spine mobility and our posture. Last one. And on the hip, and we lift the hips and drop. Lift and drop. Again, really feeling it on the sides of the waist. Two more. And relax, again, roll those shoulders. Last move before we move to the floor. Back to one more set of push-ups, but this time it is tricep push-ups. So hands are gonna be directly in front of the shoulders, a little bit more narrow. Again, stepping back and up on the toes if you are able, core engaged, tummy in. This time we're gonna attempt to drop the elbows close, straight down to the floor. So we go down and push up. Toes are optional. Push those shoulders down and back. Maybe you can even touch those elbows to the wall. Firing up the back of the arms here. So good. We have three, two, And one. Relax. Again, roll those wrists. Nice job. Quick tricep stretch. And switch. Release down. Okay, next section on the mat. Meet me on the floor. Okay, on our mat, we're going to start off on our sides. So let's take a minute to get in a proper position, all the way on your side, hips backed up into that wall, supporting our head and our hands, and our head does not need to be against the wall. I want you to bend your bottom knee and then press the bottom of your foot against the wall, and top leg is here. So points of contact are your shoulder blades, and then make sure that you're not turned up. I want you to turn it down, so you're gonna feel both cheeks pressed up against the wall, and then the bottom of your bottom leg, that foot is pressed into the wall. So now that we're in position, top leg lifts up and down. You can slide it, keeping the heel, and maybe your calf is against the wall, and our toe is almost pointed slightly down. One more. 
Now I want you to, from the hip, rotate that leg so it's like your knee and the top of your foot are pointing up. So you're gonna feel that in a different spot in your glutes. One more. And then we have a combo. So rotate in that hip again. One facing front, rotate, one facing up. Here we go, rotate down, lift, rotate up, and lift. It's okay if you're not seeing much rotation happening. Just want you to feel that in your hip. It's one of those that takes some practice. Meanwhile, we are feeling the burn in those thighs and glutes. Just one more each way. And rotate and up. Rotate back down, rest for just a second. Readjust if you need to. Again, try to get both hips or cheeks against that wall, shoulder blades against the wall as well. Or do some bicycles. Bottom foot stays where it is. Top leg is on top. We are going to bicycle it out, point the toe, bring it back, and then you can slide your foot against the wall. Forward and back. And it's okay if the leg doesn't come so far in front of you, out to the angle is great as well. We're just gonna keep it in line with that hip. So you can imagine it's parallel to the floor like we're sliding across the table here. Two more this direction. Bring it back in and then we reverse. So slide it against the wall out. We bring it front, bend the knee bicycle in. This is also working the core here. Breathing, let's exhale, inhale, and exhale, and inhale, two more. Last one. And then go ahead and relax down. Give a little massage if you need to. From this position, we are going to turn on to the fronts of our bodies. Head is gonna be down, but go ahead and look right now what I'm doing first, so you're not craning your neck. Feet are in line with those hips and arms are stretched forward. We're simply going to lift the right arm and the left leg and put them back down. And then we switch other side and put them back down. So go ahead and lower your head. While we're doing this, again, engage the core so the belly button is pulled into the spine. You can keep your head lifted or you may rest your forehead on the mat. Here we go, left leg, right arm, lift up and down. Switch left arm, right leg. As you're lifting them, I want you to think about really making them longer. So you're reaching at the same time you're lifting. Left arm, right leg. Inhale down. Exhale up. A few more here. You can go at your own pace, just alternating sides. Let's do two more. Releasing everything down. Now we're gonna bend our arms, stacking the hands on top of each other and then resting the forehead on the tops of the hands. Roll the shoulders down and back, we pull the belly button into the spine and we do a chest lift here. So just coming up a couple inches and release it down. Tummies in, pushing your pelvis into the floor. So good for our upper back strength and our posture. Inhale down, exhale up, 
Inhale. Exhale. Two more and we're out of this position. Lift and lower. Go ahead and bring those hands underneath the shoulders. Let's push up, bend our knees, sitting the hips back on our heels, coming into a child's pose. Stretching out the lower back. This should feel great. Big deep breath in. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Lift the hips off the feet. Let's kind of ripple our spine forward and do a couple cat cows. Wrists are underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Tuck the chin and round the back up like you're trying to gaze at your navel. And then switch chin up, hips are back. Releasing any tension in that spine. One more. Shoulders down and back. Sitting back on our heels, let's switch to do our leg series on the other side. So coming into our position, supporting our head. Bottom leg is bent, foot pressed into the wall. Core engaged. Both hips or cheeks pressed into the wall as well. And again, some point of contact on the back, those shoulder blades. We start with the leg lifts turned slightly inwards. Up the wall and down. Doesn't matter how high that leg goes. All right, now turn the leg out, rotating from that hip. Lift and lower. Let's alternate. Turn down, lift and lower. Turn up, lift and lower. You may find that one side was easier than the other. Like my turnout is better on my right side. So I know I've got to work on opening that left hip more. Pilates keeps us humble. Nobody's balanced all the way. Down, one more, and turn out, last one. Woo, time for those bicycles. We bend the knee, bring it forward, and slide it back. We're making this movement as big as we can. And again, make sure you have points of contact pressing into that wall. Helps us a little bit supporting us. One more. And let's reverse. We go forward, bend, slide it back. I know it's burning. We breathe through it. We're almost done. Last one, make it your best. We come forward, bend and slide it back. Bend, Whew. again, give a little rub if you need to. And for our last series, we are going to be on our backs with our feet against the wall. Your bum is going to be a foot or two away from the wall. And then we're gonna bend our knees at a 90 degree angle here. So feet are hip width apart. Slight pelvic tuck so that our lower back is pressed into the ground. Arms are at our sides. I want you to relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Driving your feet into the wall, we lift our hips up into a glute bridge not coming all the way so i just want you to come up to like your shoulder blades or bra strap level 
we slowly lower down. So you should feel no pressure in your shoulders at all. You lift up again and roll it nice and slow back down. Third time, press those feet, lift those hips, hold it here. I want you to shake your hips left and right, keeping them lifted. So think about a string connected to your hip bone, lift and lift. Great for our core and our glutes. Come back to center and lower down. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, lift the hips. Inhale, let's shake and shake. Find a normal breathing pattern here. Trying to isolate each side. Might feel nice in that lower back as well. Come back to center and nice and slow all the way down again. I want you to cross your right ankle above your left knee. Feeling a nice stretch in this figure four position. Again, relax the head, neck, and shoulders. Press hands down. Leaving your left foot pressed into the wall, we are again going to lift up into a glute bridge and lower down. Nice job. Advanced move here. Great for those glutes. We lift and lower down. Should be feeling some great stretches here. Really good for our balance as well. So think about keeping those hips in line with each other. They're coming straight up, so try not to tilt one way or the other. And lower down. We have one more. And lower, nice job. Keep this figure four position. We're going directly into a stretch. So thread your arms through and then bring your left foot off the wall, dropping it down. So we're in our figure four stretch. Again, feeling this in the right hips. Maybe a little bit of rock and roll here, whatever feels good to you. If you work out with me regularly, you know figure four is my favorite stretch. Okay, relax. And then we're bringing both legs back into our squared off 90 degree position. And this time crossing the left ankle above the right knee. Relaxing head, neck and shoulders, push into that right heel. We come up and down. Pushing the foot into the wall. And you have an imaginary line here, lifting your hips up equally and push no tension in that neck or shoulders we're making the legs do all the work here one more relax all the way down thread the hands underneath that right thigh take the right toes off the wall and hug the knees in. Holding the stretch here, allowing the hips to relax. And maybe a little bit side to side, if that feels good to you. And then go ahead when you're ready, uncross, and we're gonna extend our legs all the way up against the wall. We have a core move left, a little bit more stretching, and then we are done. I want you to bring your hands behind your head. Elbows are nice and wide. Press the lower back into the floor. I want you to curl up, head, neck, and shoulders. We're gonna lift one leg, lift the other leg, put right leg back down, left leg back down, and then uncurl, relaxing head, neck, and shoulders. Let's do that again, curl up. Lift one leg, two legs, right down, left down, and release. A few more, here we go. Curl up. 
working upper and lower abs here. And down we have three more. So this time we're going to start with the left leg. Curl up, lift left, lift right, left down, right down. Relax head, neck, and shoulders. Two more. Curl up. Last one. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And release it down. Nice job. Let's stretch. Let's bring that right leg. Straight knee as much as you can. To feel a beautiful hamstring stretch. Hold that here. And then keeping the legs straight and towards your chest, we're simply going to cross the midline of the body here. Not going very far, you should feel a quite intense stretch through that IT band, all the way from the side of the knee up into the hip. Hold that stretch here. And then we're going to flex the foot and point the foot. Flex and point. Breathe through it. And let's bring it back to center. Release the right leg back on the wall. Left leg comes in. Straight back first for the hamstring stretch. Take a few nice deep breaths. And then we're going to take that leg, cross it over the body. Again, still hugging it in until you feel that intense stretch. And then we flex and point. As I've said before, a good stretch should be a little bit uncomfortable, so not painful. A little bit uncomfortable so we can gain some flexibility and really stretch those muscles and tendons. Really good for mobility. Leg comes back to center, back to the wall, and then let's drop our feet all the way to the floor, just sliding down the wall. We're gonna drop our knees all the way to the right, and then take our torso, stretch our arms all the way to the left. Relax everything here and just melt into your floor. Deep breath in. And out. One more time in. And out. Torso comes back to center. Legs come back to center. And then switch all the way to the left. And torso twist to the right. Deep breath in. One more. Release the arms back to center and legs back to center. Bring back in the other direction, rolling onto our sides, helping yourself up into a seated position. Simply going to finish like we always do with a posture check. Crisscross if that's comfortable for you. Shoulder blades up against the wall. We inhale, arms come up. Exhale down. Reach one arm up. Big side stretch over. And release, other side, inhale up, exhale over, and one more big inhale again, up, and down. Thank you for working out with me today. I'm so proud of you. Please let me know in the comments how you liked this workout and what else you're looking for. I love to hear from my viewers. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.